Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Liminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get started using Zoom OSC, specifically how to join a Zoom meeting. First thing we're going to do is we are going to launch the Zoom OSC application. And when you do so, you get a DOS style window on the Windows operating system, which will uh, be there while the program sets up and gets ready to load. And then once the program finishes all of that authorization, it'll launch in with two windows. A window that has sort of a console looking thing going on uh, as well as a settings page and a licensing page and then the main application itself which is over here which is how you actually log into the zoom meeting so we give you two ways of joining a zoom call we give you the ability to log in with a non sso or single sign-on email account or you can uh, log in using only join only join does not require you to have a zoom account it just requires you to have the meeting number and the meeting password and uh, you provide a username that you'd like to use um, so for meetings that require registration, you can register with a non-SSO account, and then you can sign into the app and join. Um, but the simplest way to get in there is just to use only join. Now, if I log into a meeting, here I have the ability when I'm logged in to be able to start a meeting, configure my settings, or join an existing meeting. Um, if I choose not to log into a meeting, though, I can just type in the information directly. So I know in my current case that my meeting ID is 965. 9602 and I'm just going to display my username Zoom OSC and then my meeting passcode is 616016 616016 now sometimes you might receive the meeting um, as a URL and there's a cool trick that you can use to figure out um, what the different components of that are. We are working on adding deep linking to Zoom OSC, but for now there is a way to sort of part that out. So if I open up a text editor, let me open up Notepad here. If I take the joining link and I paste it there, this right here is the meeting ID. And you can copy that and paste that right into Zoom OSC. And then this long string at the end after PWD equals, this is the long form encoding of the password. And you can copy that and paste that directly into Zoom OSC and you can join that way as well. So if I hit the join meeting button and I just use a dummy video, let's say, I'll, I'll join with that video for now. And then if the host lets me into the call, here we go. So I'll leave computer audio so I don't get a loop and boom, Zoom OSC is reporting that we're in the meeting and it's already starting to send information about what's going on. And when I run Zoom OSC, I like to run it in multi-monitor mode. So I have this view of the gallery that I can switch between gallery and speaker view, just like regular Zoom. And then I also have the second window over here that um, is always a, a full screen view. So now that we're logged into our Zoom call, we're ready to get started. We can start sending meeting commands and getting information about our Zoom meeting back into our controller. So check out the other videos we have available to learn a little bit more about what you can do with Zoom OSC.